Hey, hey, y'all. It's K-I-M and the S-A-V Kim out of Savannah, Georgia. And y'all know how I do. I got so many things on the agenda to, for today that I'm going to have to talk to you all. Try to make myself look like somebody. This is not like a makeup tutorial because I don't do those. But I try to do a little something, something before I start cutting all of my YouTube videos. So, anywho, I wanted to do this video because... I have, um, you know, I have family, look, look I, I, she all over the place with the gloss in it. <laughs> there are a lot of people that, that ask me for advice, which I find funny because then a lot don't take my advice. <laughs> or they say, you mean, but then they still come back for more punishment. No, I'm just playing. But, um, no, one of the most common questions um, that I get is, People are like, how do you get things done? Or I I just feel overwhelmed. I feel so overwhelmed. I got a lot on my plate. I got so much to do. And you just don't know my situation and all this other stuff. And so everything, guys, is perspective. And I want to share with you one a, a tip. I don't even remember where I got this from. But it has been so, 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 so helpful to me in changing the way I think about things. And so if there's something that you don't want to do, instead of saying, I have to, I have to. See, when you use that word have to, have to is heavy. It's so, I have to do the dishes. I have to do that. I have to do this. But if you replace have to with get to, so I'm telling you, there's so much power in words, you don't even understand. Replace have to with get to, and it will change everything. So instead of saying, I have to do the dishes, say, I get to do the dishes. And as you say, I get to do the dishes, you're like, Kim, that's not really that big of a deal. No, it really is. Because if you're really thinking about what you're saying, I have to do the dishes, it's like, uh, I have to do the dishes. I wish instead of doing the dishes, I could do this. So it puts you in a place of like, both words put you in a place of contrast, but one is negative contrast and the other one is positive contrast. So if you say, I have to do the dishes, that's negative contrast. That Because you're thinking about all the other things you could be doing instead of doing the dishes that you want, that you desire to do. But if you say, I get to do the dishes, hmm, I get to do the dishes, that's positive contrast. Because let me tell you what the word get to, when you get to do something, you think of it as a reward, as something, ooh, I get to go to the party, ooh, I get to marry you, ooh, I get to, you know what I'm saying, I get to um, get that prize, whatever the case may be. So that's positive contrast. And when you have that positive contrast like that, it really makes you think about all the things that you could be doing that are worse. So when you say, I get to do the dishes, it's going to, when I say it, it puts me in the mind frame of all the people who don't get to do the dishes. Meaning, what if they don't have any hands? What if they don't have any dishes to wash? What if they're homeless? So it makes me think about that instead of, I have to do the dishes, instead of taking a nap, instead of doing this, instead of, does this make sense? I hope it really does. Hey, what's going on, Mita, hey Julie, hey Joy, all the J's on the broadcast. If you're watching this on YouTube, it originally began as a Facebook Live, so that's my people that I'm shouting out. But I'm telling you, there's so much power in words, and people underestimate words all of the time. But it really are, it there really are the the what am I going to say? Honestly and truly, it's the small differences that make the big differences in your life. And it's because words are so small and it's something that we have control over that we underestimate their power. And that's the, that's the whole irony of this whole entire thing, right? We can change everything about our behaviors, our beliefs, our attitudes, because they're all linked. And they all stem from the words that you choose and the words that you use. I'm telling you. And it's because of that. The stuff that is commonplace to us, that is easy, that is free, that's the stuff that we take for granted. And we think, mm, if it were that easy, then, you know, it can't be that easy. But it really is that easy, I'm telling you. So if, instead of saying, like today, I, I have to shoot 10 videos. I have to shoot 10 videos today between my course for my students, between my instructional videos for my teammates, for the people that need instruction and then uh, for clients and prospects people that uh, currently buy from me and people that i want to buy from me but when i say i have to shoot 10 videos today before eho gets out of school that's heavy if i say i get to shoot 10 videos guess what it makes me think of it, th it makes me think of when i didn't have a home business and when i didn't have the freedom like shooting 10 videos is it a lot yes However, it's not as much as when I used to work for the state of Georgia and I had to visit four schools all before school got out and I had to wait on the principal to fit me into their schedule and I had to wait, I had to um, 
tried to get the attention of 16 year old kids who could care nothing about going to college because they wanted to turn up. So when I think about the fact of what I technically have to do today, but I contrast against I contrasted against what I used to have to do when I was working for the state of Georgia. Now, what I have to do today becomes what I get to do. And it's a joy. It's a pleasure. I'm telling you this. If you if you understand this, if you really take in what I'm saying and you apply it, you apply it to your life, it will change your life for the rest of your life. And like I said, I hate that I can't even remember who to give credit to for this tip, but stop talking about what you have to do and start thinking about what you get to do. I don't care if it's the laundry. I have to do the laundry. No, you get to do the laundry. Thank, thank the Lord. If you have a washing machine, thank the Lord you have a washing machine. Thank the Lord you have clothes. Thank the Lord you have, um, what you say? Oh, you told me to say with one hand, can you go girl, girl, I'm trying. And, and it's so funny because when I do my makeup, I, people are like, you look the same after as you did when you started. Well, I feel different, doggone it. <laughs> but no, stop saying that you have to do stuff. You get to do these things. Change your perspective and it will change everything. I promise you that. So that's just my little quick tip for the day, y'all. Like I said, I get to record 10 videos. So let me get started on that. I can't be up here playing with y'all, elaborating. If you don't get it by now, then watch the video over. <laughs> all right thank you guys for joining if you like this video leave a comment below and let me know if you're watching on youtube click that big red subscribe button and the bell next to it ding dong so that you'll be notified every time i upload a new video because i'm doing this for you so you don't want to miss it all right i'll see y'all in the next one bye <laughs>